What are you doing? Classic truck rescue. <laughs> Yeehaw! Today's a happy day. Little Annabella. What are you doing there, honey? Why do you leave me here all alone? I searched the world over and thought I found fire trucks. You he made was... another and... He was gone. <laughs> anyway, uh, classic truck rescue. If it wasn't nailed down, we packed it. Because we're on our way out to... Where are we going, honey? Timbuktu, uh-huh. <laughs> we're going to Minnesota. We're going to Minnesota to get Shore Sparky, our fire yeah. truck. Uh, we're going to be gone for a little while. We do have someone that's going to watch our property for us and watch all the trucks here at Classic Truck Rescue. But we do want to say a quick prayer before we hit the road. Also, we're not taking Annabella with us. We're going to drop Annabella. Annabella, come here. Come on. We're going to, we're going to drop Annabella off at... Uh, my mom's house because it's hot it's august uh we don't know what can happen out on the road and we don't want to take any chances with her she'll be safe at uh, grandma's house and uh playing with her aunt and uncle and we won't have to worry about her but uh we'd like to say a prayer uh always good to say a prayer to the lord before we go on a road trip Heavenly Father, we come before you in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We ask you first to forgive us for our shortcomings, Lord. We're not perfect. Uh, we all sin. Nobody's perfect. And uh, we ask you to forgive us for our mistakes and our sins, Lord. Uh, we just ask you to watch over Classic Truck Rescue. Lord, please post four angels on the property corners and just keep things safe while we're gone. And we pray that you'll uh, bless the man is going to be patrolling our property in camouflage with night vision goggles and AR-15 uh, that he doesn't have to perforate anyone and that uh, you'll just keep anyone who has evil intent off of this property, Lord. Lord, we ask you to bless Annabella and keep her safe, Lord, so that she's here and safe when we get home. We ask you to look after all our viewers and all the people that we say we're going to pray for, Lord, and sometimes we forget someone. You know who they are, Lord. Please, uh, uh, bless all our friends and Lord uh, we just pray for Gopher we pray for our journey we pray that you'll let us meet neat people on the way and have good experiences Lord and mostly we pray that we can honor and glorify you through our actions and deeds we love you and we praise you in Jesus name we pray oh yes Lord and well, you should say that what do you want God to do for Jack Okay. And Chet, Lord. All of our friends and family and all our little critters. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right. This is a road trip we've been looking forward to for a long time. We're going to Minnesota. We're going to try to rescue Sparky, the 1958 GMC fire truck that has 22,000 original miles. We get to see uh, Craig and Brian. Well, hopefully we'll see Craig. I haven't heard from him. I left him a message a week ago, but I did talk to Brian today, and uh, we'll get those guys at least a steak dinner while we're out there. And, um, it's my plan to get uh, Sparky running so that we can drive him up onto the trailer. Uh, originally, I was planning on driving it back, but it's just really not a good idea with something that's been sitting for 20 years or so. Uh, need to get it back here to the classic truck ranch go over it from bumper to bumper change all of its fluids and and make sure it's ready before we just stick it out on the road and try to drive it 1700 miles but we plan to have a little fun on the way and you know take our time this like i said this is don't closest we get to a vacation is when we go on a long road trip we brought everything we need to camp and uh and uh but we even brought our inflatable boat. Hopefully we can have a little fun on the way. When we get back, we got to go up do some work on my mom's fifth wheel. So we do have a schedule that we need to kind of adhere to. And uh, we'll bring you guys along. Thanks. That is not how I laugh. You do too. How do you think I laugh? <laughs>
That's not how I laugh. My dad laughed like that, though. You do, too. Your brother Scott laughs like that, too. Anyway, classic truck rescue rewind. Because we're on our way out of Oregon to uh, go get Sparky the fire truck. But Jamie forgot to remind me about something. Because yeah, Rick's brain is like a sieve, not a steel trap. A steel yeah. trap. Jamie forgot to remind me to get a flag I mean, I when we were dropping Annabella off. <laughs> no, because <laughs> if we were counting on that, we wouldn't even be going. You know what? <laughs> All right. Anyway, we're at my mom's house again. Brains! I eat brains! I love brains with a fava bean. <laughs> Austin, what do you got there? Oh, thank you, buddy. I'm gonna put that on your fire truck, okay? And where's my fire truck? Well, we're going to get your fire truck right now, buddy. It's a long ways do... away, though. He said he had to do a flag delivery. Oh, Aww. you love Jamie, huh? I love you too. You're a sweet Did boy. You know when we came back, Annabella Jamie. Wanted kisses. She didn't want kisses. She gave him. Oh, kisses. she gave you lots of kisses. Yeah, she That's loves you. <laughs> Will you take care of her for me, buddy? Say goodbye to Annabella really quick, and then yeah, put that know. away so you don't have to come back for it again. <laughs> okay, but you have to take very good care of her while I'm gone. All right. This is my little daughter, right? You gonna take care of her? Yes. You think you guys leave me here? What do you mean? You're leaving him. Oh, he, she likes him. Uh, I just didn't leave you. You should have seen, uh, when I was talking to you on the phone, I accidentally hit his queen of diamonds, and he started crying because I made the queen of diamonds go away, and Annabella came over and she was like, <laughs> she, she's very smart and she loves you. Can you take care of her for me while I'm gone, okay? Here's my little baby. <laughs> Thank you, buddy. I love you. Take care of my little girl, alright? Alright, we're good. You guys have a safe trip. Thank you. Austin, we can see you again before we go bye-bye. I love now you. Now this time they really are going. Yeah. They really are going this time. We'll see you next year. Yeah. Okay. Oh my gosh, you're going to be this big yeah. next year. Yeah. You're going back to uh, <laughs> one joke. Thursday. Thursday. <laughs> Bye, Moggy. Bye, Moggy. Love. And the significance of this American flag is it's my mom's American flag. And she's had it since I was a little baby boy. So it's the same flag that we hung up every 4th of July, Memorial Day, Veterans Day, all true American holidays. But uh, my little nephew just handed me that. And now I'm dealing with this. It's a grand old flag. It's a high flying flag. <laughs> Jamie just gave me the speech about how she's a Gemini. He got two girlfriends for the price of one. <gasps> no, didn't he say I had four? Yeah, because it's double indemnity. Because I was talking to this different chick a minute ago. I'm like Sybil, but I'm Jamie, so I'm Tibble. <laughs> God. <laughs> <laughs> Classic truck rescue. Rolling up on Walla Walla, Washington. This is where I was born. I used to ride on combines when I was a little kid. It does look a little flaky, doesn't it? Maybe he's got some kind of issue going on there. Walla Walla to pick up a Mustang. The people are 
are saying, Rick, that's not classic truck rescue. Right. Mustangs aren't classic truck rescue. Well, Sorry. we're... Be nice to go for. Be nice to go for. He has a lot of work ahead of him. Anyway, we're going into Walla Walla to pick up a Mustang because we don't want to haul an empty trailer out to Minnesota to get Sparky, the 58 GMC 22,000 original mile fire truck. Because why haul an empty trailer when you can haul a Mustang and pick up a little extra money to help pay for the trip? Right, honey? Jamie found the Mustang load for us. She's a good girl. That's right. Anyway, we'll be back when we're loading the Mustang up. And then tonight, we're going to go camp somewhere. Peace out. Vacationing, classic truck rescue style. Anyway, this is Tim. He's helping us out to get our uh, our fire truck back from Minnesota. 58 GMC fire truck. We're going to haul this 70? 70 Mustang. 70 Mustang fast back out there for him and uh, bring him back some really rare parts for his Boss 429 project, and uh, we'll get him here. Okay. Uh, you are gonna meet us off the highway. I will right? help you out and I'll come out there. Okay. Save you two hours. Appreciate that. Thousand right. bucks. Yes. Thousand bucks cash. Yep, that's the deal. COD. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Good deal. I'm gonna give you this, and we're gonna push this up the ramp as far as we can. We're gonna get rid of the ramp, sure. push it up. We're gonna get when we get up there, Yep. Stuff it in behind the back wheel. It's pretty light. She's, she's yeah. got, she's I'm got seasoned. experience with the block. <laughs> she, the looks block like, shot. she looks like she knows what she's doing. Okay, so I'm going to let you steer it, but let's do a walk around on the car first. Sure. Honey, I want to... Uh, do you want this to do that? Yeah, let me do that. Just kind of show everything that's in the car. Is that a fold-down seat? No. Oh. What are those things sitting on the back seat? Those are the tail light buckets? Yeah. Okay. So it's got the two tail light buckets. It's got the trunk lid inside. It's got its gauges. Pretty complete dash. Yeah, the truck's got uh, 30,000 miles on it. Mine had 30,000 miles on it three years ago. Now it just, the season now, just broke 100,000. And darn 6.4 in the radiator hoses. Six fours are tough. They're, they're tough. They're a tough one. Um, some guys have tough luck and some guys have Same thing with the six liter. Yeah. Oh, I know. That yeah, that was the first thing we did when it, we got that truck. It was a uh, had eight thousand miles on it. It was a rollover. And uh, first thing we did was head studs. Yeah. EGR delete. Nineteen fifty eight GMC. It's one with the bullets on the bumper and it's uh all red and chrome. Looks like you need to go to the ride a little, Tim. Yeah. Okay. okay. Yeah. Text, call me when you get there what the deal is. You unload this and you'll load up. 
pallet with the block, the block the transmission. transmission, and the two pieces of uh, sheet metal for the front end. They're fairly small, a little awkward shape, but light. All right, and we'll and try to give you a, a little pick. better communication on the way back. We'll hopefully have cell coverage. Yeah. Yeah. That's the All right, buddy. Get your we'll pictures. Shoot a pictures here for Kevin. And I've got a complete walk around video on it, inside and outside. Well, right, what are kids going to have to look at? Priuses and Subarus? No. Yeah, we're trying to a <laughs> little museum for nice, the future. Nice, nice, little retirement. Yeah. Drive safe, okay? Okay. All right, buddy. Thanks for calling me. Thank I'm you. The GMC, I can tell. Oh no, I think that's the old international. First one, yeah. The second one might be a Chevy or GMC. Hard to hold it still when it's zoomed all the way in like that. I think the second one in is a GMC. The yellow one, I think, is a international also. This guy up here, though. Get a zoom out and zoom back in. On. Yeah, these look like a bunch of old internationals. He might have a Chevy or GMC in there, though. There's a green down there. Chrome GMC. Or Chevy. Chevy truck. Oh, there's a GMC though, the red one. Oh, yeah. Oh, and there's another a Chevy yeah. next to it. Hey, Rick, what are you doing? Well, I got to thinking about it. And we haven't had any troubles with the Mustang with this one strap on the back, but really, how much faith do I have in this one strap? So I figured since we had other straps, why not go ahead and put another one on there? Just for a little added security. Mm -hmm. Thought we were going to get some miles under us. We are. Are we, are we in Montana or are we in Idaho still? We're still in Idaho, but we'll be in uh, Montana soon. And homie got up at 6.30 this morning and did his homework and uh, I rented us a little cabin in Billings, Montana on a river because last night we pulled into Coeur d'Alene and spent you know, an hour and a half driving around looking for a place to stay and I thought it'd be smarter if we uh, had a place to stay when we get to where we need to be. What do you think about that? I think I think you're awesome and I love you. I love you too. I'm having, are you having a good time? Jamie's having a good time. I am having a good time. Yeah, but we're going to barbecue up a roast beef tonight. We got our ice chest with us. We can keep that with us for sandwiches and stuff on the road. And uh, I'm going to do a thing where I'm going to get a little shot of every state that we go through and put together a little medley for you guys. This is awesome. Look at this. It's so beautiful. Idaho really is beautiful. I mean, Oregon is beautiful, but like Idaho, look at this. Look at, oh. Jamie. What? Classic Truck Rescue, back on the road. Do you know what? What? This is the first rest stop that I've ever been in that it's like a motel lobby. Oh yeah? Inside, yeah. It's crazy. Idaho's cool. It, I like this is Idaho. beautiful. Classic truck rescue. Yesterday was a long day. We covered over 700 miles yesterday. And uh, I got up at 6.30 in the morning in Coeur d'Alene, Idaho, and uh, let Jamie sleep. Got on the laptop and uh, planned out a route and reserved this cabin. I figured we'd be getting here about 8 o'clock. Their office shuts down at 10 o'clock. 
and uh, we rolled in at 10:19, and I was thinking, oh my goodness, we're going to be sleeping in the truck, and I already paid for our little cabin. And uh, but there was somebody in the office, and it worked out pretty good. I was a little disappointed when I saw the inside of the cabin because there was no water or anything like that, and it was just full of these beds. But Jamie took every one of the mattresses and piled them on this futon, and I slept like a baby last night. This is the closest we get to vacation when we make one of our long road trips. But the good news is it's a Tuesday, and we're right alongside the Yellowstone River. Um, you know, like I said, we covered 700 miles yesterday, so I figured we'd go ahead and spend one more day here just to kind of rest and regroup, and, uh, and then we'll make the next... Uh, leg of our journey which will be to Fargo North Dakota that's about 800 miles but that'll put us within shooting distance of Minneapolis Minnesota and uh, Sparky the 58 GMC fire truck but like I said it's Tuesday so even though there's a lot of rigs here it seems to me like they're mostly uh, rigs that are parked here all the time and there's not that many people which means Jamie and I have the pool all to ourselves I'll be right back Jimmy was so happy when we walked into this pool. What'd you do? She was so happy. You should have seen her smiling when she saw that jacuzzi sitting there. Did you have a, a, a wardrobe failure? <laughs> yeah, all to ourselves, huh, baby? Pretty good deal, huh? Are you happy? Good. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, classic truck rescue. Doing a little unwinding. And what's cool about, you know what I think is really cool about when you're way out of town, honey, nobody and you're at a campground, <laughs> nobody knows you, so Rick's sporting the, the shorts right now, and I don't care about my awesome non-physique <laughs> when I was a little kid you'd always see the 50 year olds running around in their swimsuits and the guy with his shirt off and you'd be like man you need to cover that up well not you honey. I am 50 I know but you're a hot 50 huh? <laughs> yeah are you <laughs> yep. remember this when we were we were both on the swim team yep yeah I remember that camera camera <laughs> got a waterproof one. <laughs> I'm gonna go jump in that jacuzzi. Oh yeah. All right. Anyway, so we'll be back when we go uh, explore the Yellowstone River. That's good, honey. If I was 20, yeah, I would like you, even though you're an old guy. <laughs> Classic truck rescue. Peace <laughs> you're out. <cute. laughs> the, the. You're Michael. You're not Michael Phelps. You're more like Mark Spitz. No, I'm Mark Phelps. No, you're Mark I Spitz. He stayed a man, didn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's not first gen. <laughs> You've been recording See, the whole time. Huh? I was doing the backstroke, but... This water's awesome. It's like 69 degrees. Anyway, classic truck rescue. It's not always work. Sometimes we have a little fun, huh? Yeah. Peace out. I was walking back from the pool and saw this, and I just thought it was funnier than heck. <laughs> That's perfect. Uh, somebody had a sense of humor when they designed this pet area. We're heading out to Billings today in uh, southeast Montana, and we just stopped at this rest area. And Jamie uh, likes reading the little signs that tell her about the area that we're going through, and you just saw it. What, honey? What? Pompey's Pillar. Yeah. Which I wondered what it was, and it's a rock formation that Captain Clark, or Lewis and Clark, and, and Sacagawea. Look at her go. Uh, Jamie has this thing. Jamie has this thing with Lewis and Clark because where we live is actually the end of the Oregon Trail, and uh, there's a lot of Lewis and Clark type stuff going on. What about Lewis and Clark, honey? What can you tell us about them? They were explorers. Yeah. See, they met up with Sacagawea, and she was a, a Native American, and she guided them here. Yeah. But it's fascinating to me because I have Native American in my family. So. Yeah, she does. Cherokee. People. Yeah. 
So, and I love our, I think America has the coolest natives. I agree with you. I've met some pretty darn cool Native Americans. But just the whole anyway. culture, like, you know, the Old West. Nobody yeah. has that but America. Yeah. Like, the reason I wanted to film this is because Jamie gets so excited when she talks about Lewis and Clark. And, uh, and it is beautiful out here. It is kind of cool to know what you're going through. But they went that's through what, some stuff, man. They did we're, go through some stuff. We're in a yeah. vehicle and they just walked through here. Yeah, we think they, about them with their ox trains and, and all that stuff. But uh, what I was trying to stress is that's one of the things we love about America is it's there's it's so diverse and there's there's so much that's different everywhere and we just love all of it, right? Thank you, God. Yeah, praise letting the Lord for letting us live here and do things like this. We're feeling pretty good today because we just got two days of rest. Jamie had a, a hot tub right by the cabin, so we're doing better. Anyway, we're trying to make it to Fargo, North Dakota. I'll be back when we uh, cross the state line into there North Dakota. There is, yes. We made a long haul yesterday. We drove all the way through North Dakota and into Minnesota. And today, what's today, honey? That'll make her smile. Today, we're getting a fire truck, right? Today is a good day because today we've been looking forward to for a year and a half. Today, I actually get to lay my hands on Sparky, the 1958 GMC 22,000 original mile fire truck. We're going to take and drop this Mustang off. I don't know if you can see it. Well, we're going to take and drop this Mustang off at a shop south of Minneapolis. Then we're going to come back this way and uh, see Sparky. Brian's going to meet us there. Craig's kind of missing in action. I think he went on a vacation to Europe or something. It'll be a shame if we don't get to see him. But we'll see Brian. We'll get Sparky loaded up and we'll start heading home. It's been a long, long trip, 1,700 miles. We'll be back. We just talked to Kevin. He's the guy that we're dropping off the Mustang to. And uh, we're going to drop it off at his house. Then we're going to go to his shop, pick up some parts, uh, a Boss 429. Uh... <laughs> what, honey? Oh. A uh, Boss 429 engine block and some other stuff that we're hauling back to Washington. But our buddy Brian has been on the job out at Sparky. They moved him out of the storage area because the storage area is probably going to be locked when we get there. It's probably going to be dark when we get there. Darky picking up Sparky, right? But we came prepared. We brought a tube light with us. And uh, this road's really bumpy. Hey, uh, uh hey, uh, uh oh. You're missing a bone. Hey ha 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 It's not doing it right. I had it going good before. Hey ha 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 Hey ha 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 Classic Truck Rescue. Laying hands on Sparky today. It's a good day. Praise the Lord. I am thankful to God that we made it all the way here with no problems, right, honey? Well, we did have one problem. <laughs> we didn't tell him about that, did we? <laughs> hey, uh, 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 what? Gopher decided to gobble up. Gopher's got this little thing. Gopher's got a little thing on his dashboard that tells you how many miles you got till empty. Well, sometimes Gopher lies. <laughs> Gopher will tell you you got 40 miles to empty, and then he'll tell you you got seven. <laughs> and then he'll go from seven to five to one. And last night, we pulled off the highway because he was on one, and there was not one gas station. You don't want a diesel to go in there. And yeah, we didn't want to run him out of gas because then with this truck, you got a whole lot of trouble. So I did the man up thing, didn't I? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you went and you went into the the mosquito war zone. We are talking uh, North Dakota. Trust me, has the most vicious uh, 
pterodactyl like uh, mosquitoes. The, mosquitoes. I opened the door and they swarmed me, literally swarmed me. And uh, so we're out of gas. Uh, uh, there's some construction going on. Oh, yay, here comes a construction truck with a flashing light on top. Oh, good. I walk up there with my gas can. We ain't got no gas. I don't carry no diesel. Well, yeah, do you think that maybe you could help us with that? I, I'm working right now and, and uh, uh, I don't want to get in trouble. And then the supervisor pulled up in his truck with the little flashing light. He, he ain't got no diesel on there and I ain't got no diesel either. Oh, okay. All right. Well, that's cool. And then a third truck backed up the highway with a flashing light. Uh, and I didn't even bother. Tell him about, what? tell him about Phil. Anyway, so I tell Timmy, sit in the truck, otherwise you're going to be eaten alive. You're a right? fibber. You didn't tell me anything. I didn't even know you had left. That's not true. I told you I was going to go handle my man business. Yeah, but I thought you were going pee or something. Or with a the, gas can? Well, I don't know. Did you not see me walk up the exit ramp with no, a I gas was, can? I was trying to call the highway patrol to find out if they could bring us some gas or what we could do. And what they, they tell you? What they tell you? They couldn't help me. Yeah, yeah. to the, protect it, sir. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, you know, but some of them would. Bill. Some of them would. Got in the truck with the doors locked, and you met Bill. Anyway, so I go trucking up the off ramp. It's getting dark out. I'm getting mobbed by mosquitoes. I got a sleeveless shirt on, and I got uh, shorts on with my boots and my cool tractor hat. So, yeah, it was funny looking. Anyway, I was getting mobbed by all these mosquitoes. And uh, so I'm walking down the road. I walk across the bridge, and this truck pulls up, and they say, hey, we'll uh, help you get some diesel fuel. Is that you broke down up there on the highway? I said, well, we're not broke down. We just didn't want to run out of gas. And this guy's like, well, I just got to go down this driveway right here and uh, drop my wife off, and I'll be right back. And we'll get you all fixed up. I'm like, very cool. And then he pulled off, and the mob of mosquitoes descended on me. And he was gone. Apparently, his driveway is over a mile long of gravel. So he left me out there for 10 minutes, and I literally had to keep swatting my arms and legs, and it still didn't do any good. I got bit like 100 times. I'm going to get that Zeke thing. Uh, if you don't hear from me again, it was the North Dakota pterodactyl mosquitoes and trust me they're vicious uh don't open your door if you break down in north dakota on the side of the road because you will be eaten alive i think you already contracted the dinghy virus the dinghy virus mm -hmm. i know that everybody knows that anyway so it's a beautiful day uh we're getting ready to drop off the mustang and uh we'll get some film of that and i might have one of my little viewer surprises because i suspect that where we're dro dropping the mustang off that uh this guy might have some cool stuff and i know all my viewers love it when we find a little honey hole with nice hot rods and stuff like that or even in a car without exhaust that we can film so we'll get that hooked up you didn't finish your real story it was kind of funny about Bill having it. Just say her whole experience with him. Bill was pretty cool. Bill came back, picked me up, and he offered me some mosquito repellent when he got back, and he said, I'm sorry, I felt so bad when I left it, and he talks real cool, like the, uh, the, the uh, North Dakotans. Oh, anyway, so I jump in the truck, Bill and I are going down to the gas station to get some diesel fuel, and I tell him about the construction guys. I'm like, you know, it's not like a, a construction truck uh, on the side of the road owes you any help, but but, Don't tell them where they're from because you might get somebody. Anyway. They're not from here. So, uh, uh, good point, honey. Uh, so Bill looks at me and he says, oh, those damn highway crew guys, they're not from around here. They're from such and such and such and such. But he didn't say such and such and such and such. He said a couple of states, but I probably have viewers in those states. But anyways, he said, they're all uh, bleep holes. <laughs> But it'll save me editing time later. They're all a bunch of bleep holes in from North Dakota. And I go, well, I'm glad I did get to meet one North Dakotan. And he was really cool. And then. And then. He's 
like, you seen my beer? <laughs> he's, like, didn't he's like, he's yeah. like, we're not going to disclose uh, Bill's no. uh, identity or location, but Bill's like, have you seen my beer? And uh, I was like, no. And uh, then I look in the console in the drink cup, and there's a bottle of beer there. And he's like, oh, there it is. Thank you. And he goes, normally I don't drink and drive, but I've been working on my tractor all day long today. And uh, I'm not drunk, and I'm drinking my beer. And I'm, you know, in a situation that I was in. And anyway, Bill was really cool. And uh, don't drink and drive. Do not drink and drive, trust me. And he told you It'll hurt. before was young. Oh, yeah, and then he told me, he's like, we were talking about property. He had developed his property. And he's telling me that, oh, you're a young man. <laughs> you got this. And when did I... Because they have a trailer that's 10 miles away from their house on a river. Oh, yeah. So uh, they, uh... yeah, I don't have to do all that. No. Anyway, so uh, Bill and his wife uh, have this big farm, and 10 miles away, there's a lake, and he's got a, a travel trailer and a truck that he keeps out there. Well, I guess a tornado came through here recently and flipped his trailer on its side. And his truck. Yeah, so he took a uh, truck out, the, yeah, and, and his truck that was hooked to it. So he did a McRinker. So he went out there with some of those round hay bales that we call Stay, Stay Puff Marshmallow Man stashes when they're wrapped in white plastic. And he put some of those brown bales underneath the chassis of the truck and the trailer and pulled them over slowly onto the hay bales and then dug the hay out from underneath them. I thought that was pretty ingenious. Anyway, a little shout out to my buddy Bill. Uh, he, we, were only on, uh, we were only on the side of the road for about what, 40 minutes. Yeah, but we had to get proactive, didn't we? Yeah, you did. I had to man up. It was I, easy. I put my hat on, I had my boots on. Because believe me, I have sat alone in a vehicle waiting for gas or something for many hours by myself before. I had us back on the road in a, in a jiffy. Yeah, and, you did, less than an and hour. Th thanks to Bill, and uh, praise God for watching out for us. And praise God that we get to lay hands on Sparky today. Oh! Classic truck rescue. Looks like the uh, Mustang's going to a pretty nice neighborhood. We're gonna drop the Mustang off here at uh, the new owner's house, and then we're gonna follow him down to his shop and load up some parts for my guy out in Walla Walla. We'll be back when we're unloading this thing. Mustang is a uh, 69 Boss 429. I don't remember what that other looks back there. The one with the tarps at Boss 429? The one on the right, right oh. rear. Because our, our shop specializes in Boss 429. Yeah? That's what we do like down I there. I suspect you. Yeah. So uh, we got a lot of that. This is, uh, see, the uh, Darren's are mine, the Shelby's mine, the other cars are my customers. Yeah. They're both, mostly Boss 429s down there. And um, there's a couple Darren's down there. It's like that. Cool. Those are. Those are, uh, I don't know. They made 435 of those Darren's. I know many. they're rare. I know yeah, they're, they're rare, yeah. 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 Anyway, this exactly. is Kevin. He's getting the Kevin, Mustang. here we go. He's a big guy. <laughs> don't make him mad. No, I'm not big. <laughs> <laughs> He's uh, just little. Is, no, yeah. I'm kidding. <laughs> is the uh, uh, Mustang for you or a customer? No, it's so a customer. A customer. Yeah, yeah, we'll build it. Yep. We're going we're gonna to build it, it for look, him. I've looked over the bottom there. It seems a pretty solid car. So Tim has actually bought several cars from me, the guy you picked it up from. Yeah. And this is for one of my customers. So. Cool. So basically he traded this car for that engine block that's going down there. Yeah, he said it was pretty yeah. rare. Yeah. 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 So that's for a Boss 429, that, that engine block is. Yeah. Right. Yep. All right. Well, Kevin and I are going to get this thing unloaded, and then we're going to go to his shop and check out some really cool stuff. Cool gas pumps. <laughs>
Sing the rest of it, honey. And the deer and, and the, the antelope play. play. <laughs> <laughs> Heard a discouraging word. And the clouds are 